Hello everyone and welcome to the Newcastle News Sports Department's podcast of Spring Sports here. Ron Pawniwa, sports editor of the Newcastle News, joined by our sports writer Cody Pattison of Odds and Ends fame. Cody, uh, the uh, WPIL released the softball pairings tonight, Thursday. Baseball will be tomorrow, Friday. So we had, uh, what, six softball teams from the district make the playoffs. First off, you know, looking at the playoff pairings as you have a copy of them, what do you see? What do you like? What I see and what I like is uh, Nishanik, uh, they will be playing against either Fort Cherry or Carlinton, uh, that winner beforehand, but also Laurel's on that same side of the bracket, so it'll be interesting to see them go up against each other again, especially considering Laurel, the only two losses that they had this season were at the hands of Nishanik. Can the WPIO get anything right ever, ever? Can they get anything right ever? I wanted to see that matchup in the championship game. Now, granted, Ligonier Valley, somebody, one of those two teams would have had to go through Ligonier Valley right. on their side of the bracket, whether it be Nishanik or Laurel. Nishanik's done it once against the second pitcher for Ligonier Valley. I think Laurel would have been able to handle that. That would have been a perfect matchup in the championship game. But no, you've got to put it in the semifinals. So congratulations, WPIL. You failed again. Uh, you know, you got Nishanik, number one seed, 18-0. and zero. Uh, they're, They got a first round bye. They're going to play the winner of Fort Cherry and Carlinton. Those are section opponents, so probably a preliminary round type thing. Keep that in mind. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, Laurel, uh, we'll talk about them since you mentioned Nishanik and Laurel. Laurel 14-3 and three against Burgettstown, 9-7. and seven. Uh, Laurel, the three-time defending champion, so... They've had the, the target on their back all season long, and the only team really outside of, uh, the only team really to figure them out is uh, is Nishanik, and they've done it twice, and they're kind of catching up to them a little bit. They took them to extra innings. Right. Uh, outside of Ligonier Valley, losing 3-1 th to one to Nishanik, Laurel's had the best crack at them. Yeah, that is true. You know, but also on the other side of the bracket, you have Mohawk. It's going to be a steep hill for them a little bit. They're seated 11th, and then they have to go up against Old Shoes. Sixth, yes, I believe, and that's going to be interesting to see them try and work their way through that side of the bracket. Yeah, if, if I'm Hank Pizzullo, I'm really liking uh, their draw. I mean, yeah, they're they're an 11 seed against uh, Olsh. Uh, granted, you know, the seed isn't the greatest, but Shannick's on the other side, Laurel's on the other side. Uh, if you can get past Olsh, you know, you got Ligonier Valley uh, mm -hmm. on that side. Uh, I I'm liking it if I'm Hank Pizzullo. Right. Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, Elwood City, which is 10-3 uh, in Class 3A against Beaver Falls. Now, Elwood City's 10-3. Beaver Falls is 2-9. and nine. There's where I was going to tell you. Keep that in mind. This is a section matchup. Could you not have picked anybody better than a section team to play in the first round? Do I have to, you know, tell them how to do their job? Apparently I do. It's it's hard uh, punching up at the uh, Whitfields sometimes, but you Apparently. know we don't get to call the shots. We just call the games. Yeah, uh, I can't remember the scores offhand. 10-0, I believe, was one of them, and 13-3 or something along that, those lines. So be a huge upset if uh, Beaver Falls picks up the victory, as we've already seen, quote unquote, the movie before uh, with Elwood City beating Beaver Falls. Uh, we talked about Mohawk, we talked about Elwood. Let's talk about Newcastle in, in Class 4A. Newcastle, 6-8 and eight against Bell Vernon, which is 11-7 and seven. tonight. Newcastle uh, defeated Shenango, which, you know, we didn't have on our schedule, which that's going to be a great thing that we actually know when teams <laughs> are playing. We don't come in and say, we don't have it on the schedule. Well, now we know. Now we know. Uh, Newcastle, 6-8. and eight. They're, they're going to be playing 5 p.m. at Plum also on Wednesday. The Mohawk game's on Wednesday. Elwood's game is on Wednesday. Nishanik's game Wednesday. Laurel's game is on Wednesday. Let's talk about Newcastle. Lori lydax has got that team in the playoffs. I don't want to call it they backed in, but they needed a Blackhawk loss. I believe it was Blackhawk to Montour. They got that. Uh, is this a dangerous team because they, they were able to get there some way and now they have like a renewed life? It's, it's possible in that, but also you've got to look at, you know, further down the bracket, too, thinking ahead. Even if they, you know, get past the sixth seed of Bell Vernon, they're right. still facing the number three seed in Burrell. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, uh, and then we got Union, 17-3. and three. Uh, They are the two seed out of Class 1A, and that's Doug Fisher's team, and they are going to play the winner of Jefferson Morgan St. Joseph, and that is on Thursday. Time to be determined, a site to be determined. Uh, nice for uh, Doug Fisher's team to get a two seed. Uh, West Green got the one seed, and, and uh, Coach Fisher told me earlier tonight that he kind of figured uh, that it would be between them and West Green, but West Green, you know, they're always there. Right. So he kind of probably figured uh, West Green, but the only uncertainty is who you playing, what time you playing, where are you playing. A, a diamond is a diamond, like a basketball court's a basketball court, a football field is a football field. Do you kind of need to know, or what would you prefer to know, at least from where you're going and what time? I mean, location-wise, yeah, yeah, of course. But, you know, other than that, it, it's all up in the air. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we've talked. Uh, we've talked about them all. We, you know, Nishanik, uh, the big dog, uh, Union, a two seed, Laurel. What, what do you like uh, when you look at these pairings? Uh, any particular game that you like? I would uh, love to watch either Nishanik or Laurel and cover that, but it's on the same day as what do we have here. Maybe we can talk about that. But with the old championships for track and field at Slippery Rock. Yeah. Yeah, you, you had to egg me on, didn't you? Because because <laughs> yeah. I'd love to have a good rant. You got the championship of track and field on Wednesday, and you're starting the softball playoffs, possibly baseball too. We don't know that until tomorrow. You couldn't have taken a day and said nothing but track on Wednesday. How dumb is that? I just had to get you worked up. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I've but... been stewing about that all night because you're going to have kids that. Uh, Nalia Noge, starting center fielder for, for Nishanik. The 2A tra track and field championship is at, is at Slippery Rock. What time will her events end? And then she's got to get no car probably because the bus will, will have already left more than likely down for Sewickley Academy. That's happened before where she's, you know, hauled down to wherever they're playing and, and got ready. And, and it's got to be rough for the coach too. You know, do you fill out a lineup? Do you fill out two lineups? One with her in the field, one without her because you submit it and that's what they go with. And if right. she's not on that lineup, then you have to use uh, the backup lineup. And but, I think her younger sister also competes in track and field, yeah. too. So, you know, that's two players. If you really think about it, I don't, I don't know if there's any more for Nishanik that also compete in track and field. But that's that's got to be a burden. I, I don't understand the theory on that. There's plenty of days. Okay, I get it. There's rain and stuff like that that, you know, you're pushing games back and, and postponing stuff. But take a day. Forget Wednesday even exists for baseball and softball. Let track have its day. Let the, the student athletes do their thing, competing for a championship. Because it's hard on coaches for baseball and softball because that's their first round. This is track's championship. Cody, do you want to compete for a gold medal or do you want to compete in the first round? It's a hard one too. You know, do you want to you know get gold right there? Yeah, you know, if you work so hard for that, or do you want to keep your team going through the playoffs, especially if you're a key player like Nalia Nogue or something? Yeah, like that. yeah. I'll never understand that. And what do they, what do what do they care? They don't care what I think because because yeah. they're not going to change it. But uh, if if I was the czar of the solar system for one day. I don't know where it would rank on on what I would do, but it'd be somewhere <laughs> on my list. It would it would it would be it would be up there. All right, uh, these championship games are Wednesday and Thursday, June first, June second, at California's Lily Field, and the baseball podcast or the baseball pairings, excuse me, uh, will be uh, uh, released on uh, Friday. And then we'll be back here with you Friday night to talk about those. We'll tell you about a couple of the teams in more in depth, like Shenango's baseball team. What a great job they did to, to go from zero and two in the section and uh, seemingly dead in the water while we're still figuring out how much snow we're going to get, yeah. you know, to, to winning a section that's, title. That's... And uh, you know, Union, uh, very solid again uh, throughout the year. Uh, and we'll talk more about that yeah. tomorrow. Uh, but that'll be that'll be baseball. Anything else uh, you want to cover? Uh, I think I covered it all, especially agitating you at the end there about the uh, Whitfield Track and Field Championship. So I think I'm good. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Now yep. we will talk to you tomorrow, everybody. Enjoy the softball pairings. We'll talk to you tomorrow with baseball.